everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Juju the Gamer here, aka your favorite gamer. And we are back reacting to B Stars. Now, excuse me, now the last episode was was a good look at the society of B Stars of uh, world building, if you will. Um establishing the society outside of Cherry Town, the school. Um and it was basically Carnivores and herbivores can live in peace. They, they can live in peace. They can hang out together. They can, you know, live together in peace. In peace. During the day. O only during the daytime. Because at night, there's this little place called the Dark Market. And this was hinted early in episode, in episode 6, that the Dark Market, that the carnivore should avoid it. Uh, later in the episode, the dark market revealed as basically a food market for carnivores. Nothing but meat, um, of dead herbivores and uh, and possibly alive ones. I still, I'm still, I'm still trying to confirm that part. But the dark market was just a big meat market for carnivores, just filled with herbivore meat so that they could release their urges from the daytime so that they could continue so that everyone can continue living in peace um and and, and then uh we met some new characters in this episode in the previous episode we met the female uh gray wolf who's a different shade than our boy Legoshi. we met a female gray wolf who's a first year She's also in a drama club. Um, her name is Juno. When she got to the drama club, the other members let her know that there was a male gray wolf there. Um, <laughs> there was a male gray wolf there uh, that she could possibly look up to. And so it's good that, you know, we are getting to see more of Lugosi's species, uh, especially, and even though she's introduced this late, I feel like she can be a main character in this show uh we're just gonna see what happens you know revolving juno's character um we also met this mafia whoops uh, this mafia pander doctor guy <laughs> uh, who basically calmed lagoshi down after he almost passed out from losing his in his urges like to the point where he was drooling and panicking I mean, he made some things clear to Lagoshi that if he continues down this route, he might end up killing himself, shedding his fur, or biting off his own arm because because he almost got the taste of a herbivore and he can't let that go. You know, because he almost ate Halu, he can't let that you know taste that urge of her go. To the point where he's he's did not like even though he might be attracted to her romantically the panda is trying to let him know that it will not work out and for his own good he needs to let it go before he does something that he might regret you know in terms of eat li literally possibly eating her um you know the panda is trying to tell him for his own good that it might not work out but Lagoshi kind of likes her and he told him like that like might just be your hunting instincts coming out just stay away from her so you don't go down this route I truly believe the panda was trying to help him I truly believe the panda was trying to help him but I don't think Lagoshi was trying to hear it and so that's why the panda you know <laughs> the panda gave him that magazine at the end of the episode and he was like, you know, if you still, you know, you know, if you get off on this, you just have a fetish. But if you don't, and you still obsess over this bunny, uh, th this herbivore that you've kind of been stalking, uh, <laughs> you <laughs> you might have a problem. Like, like it might just be a problem. So, so I'm not sure what to expect from episode seven. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what we're going to expect. But I'm hoping to see a little bit more drama because the last two episodes 
haven't been as drama heavy as they were the first three. Um, that's what the, the first three episodes kind of hooked me into it. But episode seven, what lies underneath underneath one's uniform and fur? Let's get at it. Marine languages. Oh, this got to be filler. All right. She nicknamed them eyebrows. I mean, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. That, that's how I was acting, especially in college. I would I was eating during class, bro. I got hungry. Don't judge me. Hey, please do not tell me that she. All right, all right. I see where this is about to go. Yup, yup. I figured that. I figured that. The part-time job where she sells her eggs to the school shop. She trying to be the best egg layer in the school. She just pass out. So, question. Is she like shitting out the eggs or like, <laughs> like, <laughs> why would he realize that? Why would he realize that? Why would he? Oh, that's where the opening is. All right. Thank God. Finally. Can I even show this on YouTube? Oh, this is a flashback. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I did not want to sit through that whole damn thing. Louis the Red Deer lost his antlers. Wait a second. So deer antlers shred? Oh, I'm learning some new things about animals. Wait, 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 wait a second. He said it takes 10 days for fake antlers to be made. So he legit lost his antlers. Like legit lost them. And how, how why did he just have a wad of cash on him? That's another question. Two days later. What the hell? So them two got it on. In their first year? Oh. Uh, th thank God that flashback happened. I did not want to see all that shit. Them two have been fucking for three years now? Damn, he wants her, but he can't have her? Is that is that one of them? So, she's just a, uh, a mistress for him? I don't even... Remember how I said these last two episodes were slow? <laughs> In in episode uh, six video, how I said these last two episodes are slow. Just forget what the hell I said because what what bro? Legoshi just happened to see them two like that. He just happened to see them two. Our uh, uh, okay. Our already then. Let, let's uh <laughs> let's continue. Why is he panicking? I got a feeling this is about to go left. Meet with her. Hey, Legoshi, where are you dragging this conversation to? Was Louis gonna tell him not to discuss what he's seen, or <laughs> he's smelling, he's smelling Hollywood? On... <laughs> bro, bro, this episode is about to take a sharp left. I know he is not saying that. I know Louis is not saying that. Go support your own species, bro. Apparently, since since y'all first year, y'all been hooking up. How are you the one to say go support your own species when you not even doing that? Did she get? <laughs> I'm sorry for pausing, but bro, when did Juno get there? <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm sorry about the pauses. I had to. <laughs> so where's this ship going? <laughs> yup. Is this the ship that's going to sail? Probably not. So she sees it, but he can't. So I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> is this the ship that's gonna sail? Is this the ship that's gonna sail? Please do not spoil what happens to Juno's character in the comment section for me. Do not spoil that for me. Do not do it. Oh my god, shut up. Oh, do not tell me. Oh, he found the book. <laughs> he found the book. <laughs> he found the book. <laughs> we need to talk about that bunny porn, fam. <laughs> we need to talk about this. <laughs> Does he like her? What's going to happen with Juno? Yes, you should. You have a gray wolf. 
that likes you. Go get Juno. When did Halu get there? <laughs> I got a feeling Juno's going to see them two together and she's going to flip. <laughs> I got a feeling Juno's going to see the two of them and completely flip. Oh, oh, no, no. Luis, I mean, not Luis, Legoshi, stop, stop, stop. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, no, Legoshi. Um, bro, look at his face right here. Right here. This is not going to, once again, this is not going to be the thumbnail, but I'm putting it up on the screen so y'all can get a look at what I'm looking here. Look at his face. That doesn't look like the happy, romantic, I love you feeling. That definitely looks like a predator. <laughs> a predator that's looking for his prey and is going to eat Holly. Literally. I don't think I've ever seen an I love you with that facial expression before. What is Legoshi doing, bro? What is he doing? Like, seriously, what is he doing? He's now obsessing over Haru. Um because he wants to be with her, but they they literally physically, naturally can't. He and I can't believe I'm saying this. I thought I'd ship them. Uh I, I thought I'd ship the two of them. But as I've seen now in episode seven, na their natural instincts aren't just aren't there to be compatible with. So I'm Team Juno as of episode seven. I got her. Um, I, don't get me wrong. I like Harlu. It's just that I don't see Legoshi and Harlu together. And if they do, Harlu might get eaten. Or, you know, Legoshi might be taking trips to the dark market every single day just to eat meat. But it's like, I, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. I like Juno a lot more than I, I like I like her compatibility with Legoshi a lot more than Halu. It just makes more sense to me. Now with that being said, um we saw some some different things this episode that that Lewis and Halu apparently have known each other since their first year. Um that the two of them have pretty much been doing this for three years now. Um, and you know, Halu basically told him, "I, <laughs> Halu basically told him, I don't, I don't want to keep doing it like this. I want to be your girl." And he was like, "Because of who I am, we already have, you know, fiancés. We can't be together. This is just Halu is basically Louis' side chick at this point. It's basically all she is." Now, I did not expect that. Um, Legoshi, <laughs> Legoshi would see the two of them. I definitely did not expect that. Um, but but I do like. Uh, I, how, how can I put this? I do like the way that they're kind of pushing Juno into this. I'm um, kind of inching her into the story little by little. Uh, because I feel like her character is going to matter a lot more the more episodes we uh, the rest of the series. Uh, so they're inching her bit by bit and they're making it known early on in her character's development that she likes Legoshi and that she wants to be with him. Uh, now, I don't know what she's going to do when she finds out that uh, that Legoshi likes Halu and maybe vice versa. There might be some bloodshed. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know how this is going to play out, but I'm excited to see, to see where it goes. Um, but yeah, 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 that, that, that's, that's, that's where I'm going with it. Um, I feel like what, what episode are we going to be on after this one? Episode eight. How many episodes are there? There's at least, um, Okay, yeah. So it's eight. It's thirteen episodes. No, it's twelve episodes. So in these last four episodes, I really feel like, it, like we've been inching close to more and more drama. But these last four episodes, I really feel like it's going to skyrocket there. So we're going to be seeing a lot of different things happen. 
Um, I, I'm, I'm excited to finish, to finish out the rest of this series. I'm Juju the Gamer. I'm signing out. See you next time on the next video.